All right, y'all. We are back, y'all. We are back. We back like we never left. Before we get into this video, make sure to like the video. Make sure to leave a comment in the comment section before we even start. Make sure to hit that bell and turn on post notifications so you're notified every time we drop. And you know you'll be notified every time we drop. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to go to Wilds Production Reacts and subscribe to that channel. Also, the link is in the description box below if you can't find the channel. I know a lot of cats like, whoa, I can't find the channel. I don't know where the channel's at. Da, 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 da. Well, it's in the description box below. We actually just dropped some fire content today. We literally just dropped some fire. I know I'll be capping sometime where I'll be saying we'll be dropping fire content. That You know, when I'll be like, we'll be dropping some fire content, and I didn't drop that day on that channel. But, yeah, we just now upload some fire content on that channel. Man, make sure to go check it out, man. You know what I'm saying? Very, very intense, y'all. Very intense. But I ain't going to keep y'all waiting, man. Um, you know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and start reacting to some more of this pop of balloons. We're going we're gonna to leave off. We're going to pick up where we left off. <laughs> All right. Hope let's go ahead like. and bring out our next single guy. Maggie, it ain't on me. Hello. Welcome in. What's your name? Appreciate you and your husband for being here. <laughs> it was Robert. Okay, Robert, how old are you? 28. And what do you do? I'm a stock option trader. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to go on nature trips. I like to check out botanical gardens, hike, try new foods. Okay. Video edit, photo edit. That's about it. Nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone that's at peace with themselves. Mm -hmm. um, someone that's honest with themselves as well. Someone that's dedicated in what they do, that's passionate, loving. Affectionate. If mm -hmm. you're not affectionate, it can't happen. Okay. So uh, that uh, sounds like that's one of your deal breakers. What are some other deal breakers? Um, <laughs> someone that's not at peace with themselves. Okay. Someone that's can't decide what they want to do, can't don't know what they want. Someone that's, that's there's a lot, but I could just keep going. I'm gonna leave oh, that no, no. there. That's good. <laughs> All right. So we did get a pop. Oh, two pop balloons. Let's go ahead and head on over there, see why that's they ended up popping. All right, your name and age. Brittany, I'm 28. And Brittany, why did you end up popping your balloon? Hey, don't this nigga look like a motherfucking like WWE character? It's like introducing but introducing the button. He he he, he you know, look how niggas stay like a WWE wrestler, nigga. Nigga, this ain't you nigga ain't coming down the ramp, nigga, with the title, nigga. Balloon. That's down. I think it was the physical attraction. It's not really attracted. And then the outfit is just a little too casual for me for this type of event. Everybody's kind of like dressed up. You just like look real casual. But that was it. You got a nice smile, though. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, is Brittany someone that's your type? She look good. Thank you. She look good. All right. Cool. Thank you. And we got one more down over here. Hey, your baby. name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. Um, you're gorgeous. Um, but I don't like the outfit. I mean, it's just, I like minimalistic, as you can see me, and you're giving very rock star. <laughs> so it's like kind of different. And I don't know how to handle it in the long run. Okay. Yeah. Well, we already know about Shorty, man. Shorty don't want, Shorty said you give her, Shorty don't want nobody to outshine her. Shorty want her man to stay in the back and cheer her on with the pom-poms, be the biggest cheerleader. You can't, Shorty, good luck finding, Good luck finding what you're looking for in life. Um, they out here, but I don't see I don't see how men can actually be like that towards you want to cheer your woman on for the background from the, from behind, let her shine over you. you you can't shine harder than her. That sounds like a hater. No, that's what a hater haters get mad when you shine harder than them. Haters get mad if 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 they got a lack and they put some 22s on her, and then you buy a lack and you put some 26s because you want 26s, they ain't going to like you because you put bigger rims on your car than now. She sound like a hater, man. All right. Now, Shiloh, someone that's your type. She got a nice smile, white teeth. Oh, man, <laughs> she look good. I like her. <laughs> All right. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So we do still have five balloons left on Popped. So, um, hmm. okay, I'm going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Oh, man. There you go. And I am going to have you pop one balloon based off of what you're seeing. Whoever's not really your usual type, Who's whatever it is, superstar? go ahead and pop one balloon. Mm. <sighs> pop you. 
Right. Early. Okay, nice let's start here. Oh. Your name and age and why you had your balloon yeah. unpopped. Oh, I'm Keela. I'm 26. Um, I really just had a question. I wanted to know if you wore straight bags. Not really my thing. Um, so I did wanted to give you some time to like speak a little bit more so then I can kind of ask you more questions. Okay. Um, but initially, you know, you're well put together, like take care of yourself. But yeah. Okay. All right. So why do we end up popping her balloon? Sure. The, the remaining contestants that got their balloons is balloons is they on point. Okay. Not saying that she's not on point. Mm -hmm. Get a type. Yeah. Preference. I mean, you 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 straight. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank yes. you. <laughs> okay, just, next round, let's go ahead and ask these ladies a question. What are you? What's name one deal breaker, and then what would you do if your partner commit that one deal breaker? Hmm. Okay, let's start down there and work our way back. All right, your name and age, and what's your deal breaker, and what would you do if you know your partner were to break that? Deal breaker, I guess. <laughs> All right, Shannon, 27, and um, I would say accessibility to my to my man. And if they were committing that, then yeah, they're cooked. Just they over. Cook? Yeah, <laughs> it's good. Like I'm good. Okay. 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 Thank you. Your name and age, and the answer to this question. I'm Mercedes. I'm 27, and oh. the deal breaker is cheating. You don't want if you're not happy over here. I'm good. Mm. Mm, shut up, Shorty. Understandable. Shorty probably got some bad box anyway. Talking about deal breakers cheating. And every, every, listen, let me tell y'all females something, right? And dudes can get mad. I don't care. But, but like I said, I, I cater to the female and the male audience. I give game to both sides. But I'm going to give y'all females some game. Um, You got to find a dude out here that's worth putting up with the cheating. Now, what I'm saying is majority of men going to cheat on you anyway. But is he worth sticking by? Is he messy with his cheating? Is he is he is he uh, an annual cheater, a seasonal cheater, a weekly cheater, a monthly cheater? Is, is he going to cheat with this girl uh, for a month in year three, then not cheat for five years and find this girl and hit her? See, so y'all, y'all, what the, th the thing is when y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Not everybody cheats. We know that's a small percentage that don't. But basically, when you dump a guy for cheating and you date another guy, you basically dump the guy for um, you basically dump this guy and not knowing that the other guy is gonna do the same thing this guy did. Most not all the time, but mo majority of the time. That's just giving y'all some game. So before you start, so before you start uh downing your man or trying to break up with your man because he, he stepped out on you, first you need to understand what you, first you need to look at what you did wrong. See what I'm saying people always think just because somebody stepped out on you, they oh, I, I did nothing wrong for him to step out. Okay, you you probably didn't do nothing wrong. You probably came home, you probably cooked, you probably cleaned everything, you probably um you probably did everything he wanted you to do, you know, but you probably ain't really do nothing. Look, you probably ain't nothing, never dress just your, dress yourself up, you probably never do your hair all the time. You, probably, you see what I'm saying? So look at what you may have think that you did wrong in order for him to cheat and then look at the overall picture of the nigga shouldn't have been cheating to begin with. Now, I'm not saying cheating is good. I'm not saying you did anything wrong to get cheated on. But dudes cheat because some dudes cheat because they, that's just who they are. But other dudes cheat because it's something that you're not doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to be realistic with yourself, man. And I think people don't want to be realistic about things no more. Everybody just wants to just you know, everybody just wants to just lay the hammer down. Like, oh, he cheated on me. He did this. Well, figure out the reason why he cheated on you. Figure out that. You know what I'm saying? That's what I would do. That's what I do. If a woman cheat on me, I'm going to figure out why she cheated on me. I want to know what the nigga look like. Did you cheat on me? Okay, so okay, all right. So you, I ain't got long hair, too. I ain't, ain't like niggas with dreads. All right. You like little light skin, skinny, scrawny nigga. Okay, cool. He got a truck. Okay, I ain't, got, I ain't got no truck. You know what I'm saying? Well, I do got a truck, but you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's what you like. I can't, you know, cer certain things out of your control. So kind of look at it from that perspective instead of the perspective of, oh, I got cheated on and he's a bad person. Because mo most guys going to cheat. It depends on if you figure it out or not. Just saying. Okay. Name and age and answer this question. Tyra, 31, and I have a lot of non-negotiables. Mm. I do a lot of 80-20 rule, but I would say communication. If you don't have communication, it's not open, I can't come to you, it's a deal breaker for That's me. Yes. Communication. 
Name and age and answer to this question. Angelique, 32. What's going on? Um, not much, Julie. Um, <laughs> I think what you do in the in the event that we're having a disagreement, like if you go ghost and you don't say anything, like I understand people need their space, but if you just don't say anything at all, then I'll feel abandoned. Okay. And as someone who has gone through therapy and worked through abandonment issues, I know how it feels and I hate that feeling. And people, you know, will tell you that being ignored hurts just as much as like physical pain that if you true. do your research. So um, yeah, that would be it for me. That would be a deal breaker. It's a, you gotta go right then and there. <laughs> okay. No one gets to treat me like that or my future children in the event I have. Yeah, shorty. I don't know about she, 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 she be on the airplane. She's good. I don't know about her, man. So it is time to pop one balloon. Can I ask another question? Next round. Oh, man. <laughs> you know how this goes. <laughs> I do, I do. Just trying to get lucky. Uh, <laughs> get you right here. <laughs> I was about to take it back too. <laughs> All right. So why did you have your balloon unpop? Um, personally, I like the outfit. I thought it was cute. So I like what you had to say. It's good. Yeah. Got it. So why do you end up popping hers? She didn't say nothing bad. Okay. <clears throat> the lineup is just more your type. Yeah. Okay. Got it. But she's she good. I like I like her. Nails done. Period. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She seemed a little crazy. Okay, perfect. Respect. Thank you. Don't seem like she's gonna cheat on All you. right. I will say this about Shorty. Shorty don't seem like she's gonna cheat on you. He seemed she seemed like she could be a little crazy, could could maybe be a little clinger, could be a, a tad bit annoying at times. And you probably gotta explain certain situations maybe to her. You know what I'm saying? But she don't seem like she's gonna she gonna step out on. You. Let's go she, ahead and like ask good. another question. When did you got when was your last relationship? And are you healed from it? All right. When was your last relationship and are you healed from it? Um, we ended February 2023. And there was nothing to heal from. I mean, it was a amical breakup. We were, we're, we're still cool to this day. It is what it is. There was nothing to heal from. How long was it? 10 months. Okay. Oh. Long distance. Mm -hmm. Different country. Country. Oh, country. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. That's, good. Right. That's not a relationship. We'll <laughs> That's not a relationship. That's just two people liking each other and two people, if they ever get the chance to actually be around somebody, be, if, they, if they ever get a chance to actually be around each other in the same vicinity, they would date. But that uh, overseas relationship stuff, that's not really a relationship. And y'all, I don't care what y'all say. Y'all say what y'all want to say. Um, she, he, he, or he's over there doing what he's doing. She's over here doing what she's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But y'all, you know, you you obligated to speak to this person. This person picked the phone up every time you call. Like, so I said, I've been there before to where I've had a long distance relationship. Um, some of them work. Some of them I've, I messed up. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's, it's one of them things where you really like a person. You're so into the person and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you know, um, you know, Y'all feel me? Y'all know what I'm saying. Ain't nothing wrong with it, but you know, it gives you a lot more leeway to mess up, and it gives them a lot more leeway to mess up. Also, I say that much. Here, all right. So, when was your last relationship, and what was the other part? From Did you heal from it? Yes, I've healed from my last relationship. It was a year and a half ago. We were together for four years. Okay, and now Tyra, we did have you on a previous episode. You actually did end up matching. What happened? Um, me and Christian didn't work out. We went on one date and really didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. We're here now. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to our next lady here. Your um, what was it? I keep forgetting when this was question. Your last, relationship last relationship. And are you healed from it? Um, I'm definitely healed from it, and it's been over four years. So it's been a minute. A minute, okay. How long was it? Over two years, a little over two years. Okay. When was your last relationship? Mm. About four years ago. Are you healed? I'm healed. Okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs> By moving forward. Okay. Okay. All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. <sighs> Just one. Whose balloon are we popping? Yeah. Shorty. 
All right. So why did we have our balloon unpopped? Um, very handsome, very well-rounded. I like your facial structure. Um, <laughs> I don't Thank know. You. Um, you. Sounded good. So Thank kept you. it unpopped. Got it. And why did we end up popping hers? Um, she was here already. Not to discredit her from that, but the other two, last two contestants, <laughs> I'm trying to start a new. <laughs> <laughs> all right <Started>. all right <laughs> Just all right thank you <laughs> okay well you know she's she back do, for she love, love. she's back she for love, love. <laughs> all right so our two remaining ladies any questions okay we got one down there all right take it away um where do you reside at queens new york I can't do long distance. Okay. Where do you live at? I live here in the valley. Mm. Yes. Oh. Understandable. Okay. You are very attractive though. Appreciate it. So why can't what's wrong with long distance? I'm a very physical person. I want to feel my man every day. That so. part, that part. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. So apart from that, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I like his demeanor. Also very handsome. So you all know something. A lot of things will show people's unwillingness to do things. A lot of a lot of what people say will show that they're not ready to actually move forward in their life, and they're not they're not ready for it. I say that because Shorty Shorty said I like it. basically you like everything about this dude, but you but you pop the balloon just because he lives in New York and you live I guess where the valley is. They in Phoenix or Arizona, whatever. I think they are. I don't know the valley. I'm thinking the valley, the Phoenix Suns Valley. You know what I'm saying? So that what you what you just did, Shorty, it showed us that you're not ready to be in a committed relationship. It showed us that you're not ready to move forward. Because if this is somebody that you like, if it's somebody that you're really attracted to, if it's somebody that you put, could potentially actually see yourself with, then you would think about relocating. You would think of, you would have those mind, you have those discussions. We can discuss long distance. Oh yeah, we can offline. We can we can actually discuss. The living arrangement and stuff like that. See, she's unwilling to make. She's unwilling to to, to bend. He he may not be unwilling to bend. He may he may he may be set up because he really didn't say he had a nine to five. He said he was a stock options trader. So really, a stock options trader, they're mobile, bro. See what I'm saying? So I'm I'm actually interested to see if he actually says that he's mobile. But most of them are mobile. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see, she ain't really thinking with this right now. And if he's mobile, hmm, if he can go anywhere in the world, he can still make his money. And he actually is into you like that. Why wouldn't he be down there at your crib and make his money? But that just shows the shallowness of a lot of women. They're, they're, they, they show without them saying they're they're not ready, without them saying, okay, I'm not ready for a relationship, they show it. And she just showed it. And now is she someone that's your type? Of course. She good. She's straight, pretty, <laughs> nice smile. Thank you. Everything about her is good. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So why did we end up popping? You know, it was the age. I'm I'm 32. You're 28. Is that what I remember? Correct. Yeah. And what? when you first said it, I thought about popping, but I was like, no, nah, girl, don't block blessings. Just keep on listening. But it just kept popping up in my head. And mm. I have to listen to my gut. OK, she's never going to lead me astray. That's so sorry. I'm sorry. That, that was it. But yeah, very put together. Very calm. We love it. Appreciate we love that. You. OK, we're in Queens, Jamaica Van Week area. Rose I out there. Oh, OK, cool. That was it. All right. Well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you so much for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. <laughs> thank you. All right. We're going to end that right there. Um, yeah. Well, like I said, I got, I got stuff I got to do today. So we're going to end that. At least I got a video up for you guys tomorrow. Hopefully we can finish the rest of it out tomorrow. But yeah, it's very shallow. Like even Shorty. Hold on. Let me see this ad going. Would you like to have a pause like that? Let's see what he's talking about. Let's see what he's talking about. Healthier gums and yeah. cleaner teeth. Waterpick yeah. Cordless Advanced transforms the power of water with precision pulse technology. Bro, shut up. That's not finna give us healthier gums and clean, cleaner teeth, bro. We still gonna have to go to the damn doctor. Like, my fuckers just be capped out on these commercials. Commercials ain't nothing but, or ads and commercials ain't nothing but a way to 
lure you in and, and get money from you. Hope, hope y'all know that. You know what I'm saying? Now, but okay, buying a product, cool, cool. But buying a product leads to, okay, well, this ain't work, so let me go to the dentist. I'll cap the hell out, dog. It's like that one muscle nigga we saw all the day. You want to be a personal trainer? Like, nigga, get off the royce, nigga. But anyways, man, shorties, shorties be showing that they're not ready for a relationship. You four year, four year gap, that's not bad. I'm 32, he's 28, whatever, whatever. He can learn things from you. You can learn things from him. You may be you, you may be reserved, which I think I doubt she's reserved. I think she's kind of likes to get, you know, get out there and do what she do. But you know, man, you just you just gotta <laughs> just gotta peep this. You just gotta peep how people act, man. Most of these girls don't even want to be in a relationship. Most of them, they just want the hottest guy, just to say they dated the hottest guy, just to raise their internet stock. It's okay. It's what it is, man. But like, comment, share, subscribe. We out to the next one. Maybe we'll drop a gold digger video tomorrow. Maybe we'll drop one of the rest of this video tomorrow. I don't know. We're gonna drop one tomorrow. But make sure to go Wild Production Reacts, bro. Cause we dropped some fly, we dropped some fire over a minute ago. If you don't know how to get to Wild Production React, type it in a search engine, bro. Wild Production React. Or click the link in the description box below, man. And we out to the next one.